how parity bits work. In the old days of modems, you used to have transmission plus parity, and then in RAID, you have, RAID 5 at least, you have drives plus parity. And parity is a kind of interesting thing in the binary space. Basically, it works because you can always figure out if you know a piece of data and you know the parity, what a missing piece of data is. And the way that works is, say you have two drives and both drives have a zero in the block. You can go zero plus zero is zero over here and the parity bit for this would be zero. If you have a one, then you have one and zero and the parity bit is one. Basically, you just keep summing them. If you end up with one and one, the parity bit is also zero because you'd know that if this was one and this was zero, that the missing bit was also a one. And that's how parity works. It's basically you're storing whether or not the result is supposed to be an odd or an even so that if you're missing any of the bits along the way, that you can calculate what the missing bit was. This is how you recover from losing a single drive. If you have four drives and the fifth drive is parity, basically you go, they're all zero, the parity bit is zero. It's one and a one, so the parity bit is zero. And if you were missing this piece of data, you'd know that it had to be a, a one in order to make the information work. So would be a one, would be a zero, would be a one, would be a one. And you're just looking at, is it an odd or an even on these four bits of the block and storing the parity bit as odd or even. And that's how parity works on RAID systems, on modem transport, on serial interfaces, even in memory that has parity. So parity is used in a lot of different ways, but it works very well for binary transmission. It doesn't work so well in analog or hexadecimal or any of those things. It's got to be binary, but because that's the way computers work for the most part, parity bit is used a lot.